She's so PC. Damn, I'm so PC. I apologize in advance. All right. So this is our first edition of Fascinating People, what I'm uh, calling this program, Fascinating People. I'm uh, your non-fascinating host, Kid Kelly. <laughs> Today's guest is somebody who's been in the medical profession for decades while being very successful in the medical profession. But you have a secret passion that doesn't necessarily gel or is expected from a doctor. We have Dr. Robert Sussman here. So your secret passion is... Rap poetry. Rap, sometimes known as hip-hop. One qualifier there, if I may add. Uh, prior to the recent five or six years, I never wrote a poem in my life. I was total, totally non-lyrical. And all of a sudden, lyrics started showing up in my head. And I'd quick jot them down and um, read them to some folks, and they'd like them. And... In the process, I was working with some Navy and Marine vets. One of the guys was a Vietnam-era vet who uh, had a career in the music industry. So I shared the lyrics with him, and he loved them. And he began coaching me in how to put it behind the beat, how to rap. And that's uh, briefly the story of how this uh, rap career emerged. So again, I remind everybody, uh, Dr. Robert Sussman... Correct. Orthopedic surgeon, board certified. Uh, for years, I uh, was chief of orthopedics at a um, ill-served inner-city uh, hospital. Where was that? That was in Baltimore, in West Baltimore. So before you become a board certified orthopedic surgeon, you have to go to medical school. Before that, you have to go to college. Before that, you have to go to high school. So I'm going to guess... Call it, you're approximately 70 years old, and all of a sudden, these words and these poems come to you, and you feel the calling to literally completely flip your script <laughs> and become a rap slash and or hip-hop artist, yes? Correct. Yeah, I was diligent coaching from this uh, dear friend of mine, Alonzo, and uh, suffering through some open mics, sweat and bullets. And now, when you say open mic, can you uh, explain that to the folks? Open mic venues going to various clubs in the uh, western Washington area in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, performing. <laughs> and basically, you would have to out-clever, out-poem your opponent on the fly, in real time, not necessarily knowing what beat you would have and the theme that you would concoct your poem from. In real time, yes? That's correct, yes. So there would be a referee. Uh, you'd have literally just two microphones, and your opponent would be somebody that would have to literally, off the top of their head, on the fly, create a... Uh, it's not called a poem, it's called freestyle. a... Freestyle. Say again? Freestyle. They'd have to freestyle. You'd yeah. create your, quote, rap or your freestyle. Yeah. And the whole motto around that would be, you'd, be, you'd kind of be killing it with words as opposed to... There you to, go, that's right. Correct. As opposed to guns and knives and stuff like that. You'd be killing <laughs> yeah, it. That's it. So inner city, to relieve the angst and et cetera, so forth, they would start using words as opposed to weapons. Is that how this that's, all came about? Sure. It was an ego trip. There's no doubt for the, com for the participants. And uh, biggest compliment I used to get was, Doc, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're approximately 70, and all of a sudden you have this revelation, if you will, that you now want to write rap poems, and the words are coming to you, and you're, and you're jotting the words down. Then what happens? Well, I could be, for example, out riding a bike. Words would show up. I'd quick get home. and When you say show up, explain that. What? Well, lyrics would uh, show up, I'd say, in my mind, in my brain. It sh uh, and... What I would do with these is I'd get back home as quickly as I could, get on the laptop, and quick jot them down. And after that, that would, that would serve as the basis of a song, of a rap. I'd have to work with it then to get in the proper format and something that would work with the beat. And uh, that's the process. And, and then um, after, like I mentioned, a series of open, open mics, uh, I found a, re, a recording studio in Vancouver, Canada, and they recorded three of my raps. 
And um, first one is out now on YouTube, and we have a second one about to be released in the next few weeks. What's the uh, name of the one that's available right now? The one that's available now is called So PC. And if you punch in Doc So PC on YouTube, it'll show up. And well, actually, that was inspired by a debate I was hearing on um, on the internet. What I refer to as the word police. And the word police was saying the appropriate word you should use if someone is heavy or overweight. And they came up with the word ample. And I said, damn, if I got heavy or fat, man, just say I'm heavy or fat, don't be calling me ample. And that served as the basis from which that rap, which is up there now, so PC, uh, was written. You've got to be politically correct. You can't say... I would have said, I would have guessed fat, P-H-A-T. That's old school, man. I you got to go to Ample. <laughs> <laughs> so where were you when the first words came to your head? What were I, you doing? I was in Point Roberts, Washington, a small town, riding my bicycle, and the words started coming. And as I mentioned, I'd go inside, quick, get them down on the laptop, and that would be the basis and served as the basis of that rap. And that was the SOPC rap? SOPC, yeah. And another interesting thing about this rap is um, often at the hospital, I'll share with people, you know, we'll be talking. And if we get a conversation up, uh, I'll mention that I'm a rap artist. And I'll say, I'd be happy to share this with you, but I don't want to offend you if you're really into political correctness. And I'll ask them the question, are you into political correctness? The astounding thing is that 90% of the people won't answer. They're afraid there's a wrong answer. Well, I would say, how how do you define political correctness? What's the definition of that? Isn't it subjective? It's subjective, but I'll assure the person, and my own personal belief, you don't want to just go out and offend people. You want to be respectful of people. But when it gets to the point of people are dictating what words you can use, I really am offended by that. I mean, it just seems to fly in the face of the notion of freedom of speech in this country. You sh- in my, it's my belief you should be free to express yourself, not free to uh, offend or be abusive to people, but just have the freedom to express your thoughts and belief. Well, that's the basis of what's now known as hip-hop then rap, because it was created in the inner cities, if you will, in the streets that were laced with um, st- st- strife and anxiety. And that was the release, and the release was the words which was way better than the alternative which would be guns and knives and stuff absolutely i agree fully so you're approximately 70 years old and are you are you still then a full-time practicing doctor i'm still a practicing orthopedic surgeon so today right now you can literally if i needed my knee to be operated on you can take care of that well i have to say in the last few years i've modified my practice into a non-surgical orthopedic practice so i would defer on the knee replacement but many other procedures i would do brain and brain (laughs) so you're still then uh practicing you could literally do a hip replacement or a knee replacement or a thigh bone connected to the shin bone replacement or something and you have these words come to you and you quickly bicycle back home to write them down. Do you tell anybody about all of a sudden a light bulb goes off in your head and you all of a sudden have this calling that you never had before and that hits you now after four decades as an orthopedic, successful orthopedic uh, surgeon? Do you know how to describe uh, what happened to you, A, and do you tell anybody, co-A? You know, initially I would share it with friends and just read the lyrics to them and they'd like them and... Uh I could say kind of without ego that they're good, but they come from outside of me. Uh, So I'd share them with friends. I'd periodically embarrass my kids with them. But for the most part, I was free to speak them and share them. What are some of the lyrics? On this uh, So PC, the chorus goes, You're so PC, you want me to call you X, Y, or Z, not your God-given biology. Ain't buying that philosophy. Get out the land. Confused living. Own your stuff. New beginning. Let go the victim mentality. Time to step into reality. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks. Nice bending. I think it's called word bending. Okay. Nice word bending there as well to um, to make them flow over the beat. Do you also, when you're writing these words or the words come to you, do you have your own beat in your head that you write them to? What comes first, the words? words the, s- the words have come first, yeah. So you don't even know what your soundtrack will be. Exactly. But there are certain, uh, shall we say, guidelines in rap and how to format it. So I'll put it in the proper form. The beat comes next. It starts with the words. You said guidelines. What What are the guidelines and why are there guidelines? It's rap. It's supposed to be a freedom of expression and, <laughs> and it's supposed yeah. to be a, related, a way to release the stress and strife of the neighborhood. True. I guess there's there have evolved certain patterns that you could have four verses, for example, with four bar each and then a chorus. And it's interesting how it's become such a part of our lexicon. If I'm on <laughs> on the phone with IT or technical support for something a long time, and we'll end up talking, I'll say I do rap, person on the other end will say, hit me with 16 bars. <laughs> and it's just, it's just become part of the rap lexicon. Even though, as you point out, it's to be free, and it is free, but uh, there are some, shall we call them, guidelines.